by popular demand, it's Battle of the Beers, and this is the one a lot of you have been waiting for. So in the red corner, from Trappist Westmole, we have, weighing in at 9.5% ABV, a bottle of their Westmole Triple. And in the blue corner, from Brewery Van Steenberg, and also from that famous cafe in Bruges, we have a bottle of Degar Triple coming in at 11% ABV. So, who's going to win the battle? Stay tuned and find out. See me walking around. Beer o'clock, and this is the battle of the Belgium triples that a lot of you have been waiting for. So, without further ado, the concept of this is basically five rounds, and each beer can win a point a round, and after the five rounds, the beer with the most amount of points wins. And first round is going to be appearance, how it actually do the bottle looks, etc. The second round is once the beer is poured. How does it look? The third round is how does the beer smell? The aroma. The fourth round is in the taste and the fifth round is in the price. And hopefully between them five rounds, we can get a winner in the battle of the beers. So this, like I say, is two big heavyweight Belgium triples. So in the red corner from Trappist West Mall, we have their West Mall triple coming in at 9.5% ABV. And in the blue corner, from the Van Steenberg Brewery, we have a bottle of their Degas Triple, coming in at 11% ABV. Now, the interesting thing about Degas is, up until recently, the only place you could get Degas from was in the bar in Belgium called Degas, which a lot of you watching probably been to, and in there, you could buy, you could buy it in a 1.5 litre bottle like this. Okay. Up until recently, and obviously because of COVID-19, you've been able to buy it in three 30ml bottles. Now, an interesting fact we've actually I've actually seen is if you look here on the back of this three 30ml bottle, I think you see there, it says that it's 11 percent now. ABV. Now, the big 1.5 litre bottles that you used to get at the actual bar, it says 10.5% ABV. So that's that's the first interesting fact that I found out. Right, obviously, you know, let's start with the appearance of the bottles. So let's get my trusty little bell and signal round one. So round one. Let's look at the look at the bottles and a little bit about the history. Okay, so Trappist West Mall is famous for this the bottle. Everyone knows this bottle. You spot it a mile off in any beer shop. And a little fact about the Trappist West Mall. Okay, uh, the triple. Now, the, the brewery was launched in 1934. Okay, and. They celebrated the launch with a groundbreaking new super beer. And this was the West Mile Triple. Now, some people say that this is the best triple in the world. And they say it's the first triple in the world. Well, it's not the first triple in the world. The first triple in the world, believe it or not, was the Wickcat Pater um, Triple down in Nanove. And believe it or not, um, this this triple is based on the same recipe used by Henri um, van der Leinden, who is the master brewer of the Whitcap um, Brewery. So, unfortunately, this wasn't the first triple in the world, but it was based on um, the triple from the Whitcap Brewery. But this was the the first beer which um, Westmel produced. Okay, um, this was the beer to launch their brewery. Now, 
with Degar. I don't know a lot about the history of Degar, believe it or not. There's the bar in Belgium that, that solely um, sells this beer, which is produced by the Van Steenberg Brewery, a very, very famous brewery, famous for its Golden Drac range of beers. So they, they brew the beer for Degar. Now, what's going to be interesting now is because this is now being in... 330 ml bottles that you can get shipped to the UK um, from a Belgium um, bottle website. Is this beer now going to be available in other Belgian bars? Are they going to buy these 330 ml bottles and serve them up? So is Degar going to be the exclusive um, bar in, in, in Belgium or in Bruges where you can get this from from now on? We will we yet to find out. But this also is a beer which some people claim to be the best in the world. So I've got two beers here, that, 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 that two triples that people claim to be best in the world, in the world and we're going to try and find out who's the winner. Now on the appearance side, I think between the bottles, they both look good, right? Um, I think we now have to go to the glasses as well. You know, the, the, the Westmall Goblet. Fantastic looking glass, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. It's goblet, chalice, goblet style, however you want to call it. Some people call it a chalice, some people call it a goblet. Um, it's a great glass. But look at Degas. <laughs> it's like a fishbowl. A brilliant glass, again. Um, I don't think we can split these beers on appearance. We've even gone into the depths of the glasses to try to get a split between them. But even on the glasses, how can you pick a winner between these two glasses? You can't. They're iconic, aren't they? They're iconic glasses. So, without further ado, I think round one is a point each. It's a draw. It's equal. I don't think you can split them on appearance or the glassware or anything on round one. So with that, let's move on to thinking round two, which is let's get the beer into the glass. Let's see what they look like. So let's open up the, the, the West Mall first. Now these are both sitting at around um, 10 degrees at the moment. go that's the West Mile poured let's get the Degas into a glass Now, we've got them side by side, both poured. Let's have a look. Well, the West Mall, it's that cloudy, golden colour. It's got a beautiful one and a half finger, white, tight foam head on it. The Degas. It's slightly a little bit more amber. But it's got a beautiful two to three finger white frothy foam head on it. Um, what do you reckon? 
What one do you think looks the better beer? Um, they both look good. I don't think I can split them. I don't think I can split these two beers on, on, on looks either. They both look great. Um, so it's another draw. So it's two all at the moment. Moving into round three, which is the aromas. So let's get the aromas of these. So let's start with the West Mall. It's yeast forward. Straight away get the yeast. Banana, black pepper. There's some cloves, some coriander. There's some honey there. It's a fantastic smelling beer. So let's go for the Degar. Now, this again, it's yeasty, there's banana, there's your pepperiness, you've got cinnamon, cloves, coriander, caramel, Bubble gum yeast, a bit of apple. So you've got that bubble gum yeast, apple. You get a honey like aroma on both. This one here is slightly more sweeter. This has got a more punchy, sweeter aroma to the West Mole, which doesn't have such a, a um, it has a more bitter aroma. Candy sugar. Again, you know, the candy sugars are there. I can't split them, I cannot split these two on the aroma either. It's a draw, so it's 3-3. Three, three. Moving in to round four, which is the taste. Let's dive into the West Mall. Cheers. Smooth. There's a bitter side to this beer. It's very easy drinkable. There's a medium body to it. Is carbonation that fizzes around your mouth. It doesn't feel like you're drinking a 9.5% beer. It's well hidden, the ABV in this beer. It's very, very easy drinking. Very herby and earthy. You can tell that this is brewed with love. This is a great beer. 
and I can see why so many people think that this is the best triple in the world. You know, you only have to have this beer to realise that this is a great beer. It's complex. Um, it's like every sip you discover a new flavour. A great beer, I could stay, I could sit here and drink that whole glass, no problem. But I can't. Just now we have to dive into the Degar. So, let's dive into the Degar. Cheers. This is sweeter. That's the first thing you get. I've just had this, it's quite a bitter beer, right? Straight away, this sweetness has overtaken the bitterness that was in my mouth. This is a thicker bodied beer. It's sweeter, it's a thicker body. Yet again, it does not feel like you're drinking an 11% beer. The alcohol is hidden really well. It's creamy. It's herbal. You've, between these two, you've got the same characteristics, but, and it's a big but. There's more creaminess to this beer than what there is to the West Mile. This is just a thicker bodied beer. It's like a velvet inside your mouth. Whereas this, is drier. Straight away, now, if I swap in between the two, it's a drier beer. And that sip now, after I've had this, this the sweeter beer, has brought out a, which I've never discovered before in a West Mile, a grapiness there. I'm now picking out a, a grape um, subtle sort of grape in there. God, this is this is a hard one. This is a real, real hard one. These are two outstanding beers. This has all the traits of that, but this has all the traits of the West Mile, but, and you'll find this when you put these side by side like I'm doing now. And I've never have been able to drink these side by side like a lot of other people here haven't either. This, it's, 
it's smoother, it's creamier, it's got more of a honey-like hue to it. This is the difference between these two beers. This is just, it's just bliss. Now what we've got to think of is most avid beer drinkers who know their beers, who know their Belgian beers, if they go to Bruges, they are visiting Degas. Also, those people that know their Belgian beers, if they can't get to Belgium, they will buy a Westmouth Triple. But I think if you was to if you was to pour these two beers out for a novice who'd never had a triple before, never had a Belgium triple in their life. And said, so what one do you prefer? They are gonna say Degas every time. And the reason they're gonna say Degas is because of this creaminess to it. My, my mother, um, we took my mother into Degas and She'd had a couple of triples beforehand. She, she'd had a West Mail triple. She'd been to um, a Golden Carolus triple. Um, my mum don't like strong beers. So trying to get my mother to have a strong beer is quite hard. Um, the reason she, uh, in Golden Carolus, because we had a tour and she, she we get a triple at the end of the tour. The reason we had one in, in Trappist West Mail is because, um, she didn't fancy. She didn't fancy the double because it was a dark beer. My mum likes a light coloured beer, um, so we took her into the gar, and even my mum said, "Oh my god!" She couldn't believe the ABV of the beer. She couldn't believe how easy drinking the beer was, and she couldn't believe how creamy it was. My mum was. My mum had a smile like a Cheshire cat when she when she went into gar and tried this. She was. She was like. Oh my God, it's so creamy. And I've got to admit, it's to me, this is, this is more, this is the more appetizing beer. I had a friend round last weekend and got her to try a bottle of this. Or get, or she actually tried a sip actually, because um, I poured one uh, and uh, I let her try a sip. And I let her try a sip of the West Mile. And, and she's just starting to get into into drinking um, the, the, the ales and the, the Belgian beers and that sort of thing. And even she said that she preferred this. So, the hardest decision, and I think this decision is, is gonna be made on how do you like your triples? Personally, I like my triples to be quite a, a heavy body, medium to heavy body. But I do like it when, they, when, they, when they're really soft and creamy. And this ticks, the gar ticks all the boxes. It's soft, it's creamy. It feels like, when you take a sip of Degas, it feels like someone's giving you a hug. It's, it's, it's got that sort of presence to it, if you know what I mean. Whereas Westmall, I take a, a sip of Westmall. Which is great. But Westmall's got that, that bitterness, that zing to it. And it, it's just that, that, that sip's just confused where I was going to go with this. Um, I 
Right, let's describe these two beers, right? I'm going to take a sip of this, I'm going to take a sip of that, and I'm going to tell you why I've come up with this decision. A sip of Westmall with its bitterness feels like you're getting a bollocking off your dad, getting a telling off off your old man, right? A sip of Degas with its smooth creaminess to it feels like you're getting a hug off your mum. That's how <laughs> that's a weird way to describe two beers, but that's how these beers are too too far apart. Now, as for in the taste test, who's going to win? I think this is down to personal preference. And if you are an avid beer drinker, and especially if you've had a lot of Belgian triples, and you know your triples, you know your Belgian beers, right? You are going to favour the one that's your preference, right? Mm. Now, my preference is, unfortunately, I'm going to say this, is I prefer the smooth creaminess of a triple, right? So I am going to, I'm going to prefer the Degas over the Westmall. I just like the way the smooth creaminess of this just draws you in, if you know what I mean. It's just so inviting, it's just so lovely. You take a sip of this, and it's like, all your troubles are going away. All your troubles are not there anymore. You take a sip of this, And it's like, oh bloody hell! You know, I've got a, I've got a phone bill to pay next week. <laughs> that's that's how I sum these beers up. This one's inviting. This one's not so inviting. Very very good beers. Um, so I've actually got to call this, and this is probably one of the hardest calls I'm ever going to do. But I'm going to award the taste. And the sensation of drinking these beers to Degas. And this is personal preference, you know. To me, Degas, it just feels, feels like you're getting a hug from your mother. And anyone that's had Degas, you're gonna agree with that. It's, it's just one of these inviting beers that it really does invite you in. It makes you feel homely, it makes you feel wanted, it makes you feel great. It puts a smile on your face. So, at the moment, after round four, we're sitting 4-3. On to the fifth round, the price. So, the price. Well, I'm gonna go on Euro prices of how much we would pay a bottle to get them to the UK, right? So, my research, this will cost you two euros 69 to get to the UK. Whereas Degas will cost you two euros 80 to get to the U UK. So there's 11 cents difference, which is what, like eight, eight P in English money. But we've got to consider this is 11%, that's 9.5%, and I think because of the ABV, it irons itself out. So, price-wise, I think we've got to call this a draw. You know, it's not like this is 10 euros a bottle, and this is two euros a bottle, or anything like that. It is so close in the prices, and obviously, with a lot of countries, the higher the ABV, the more you pay. 
So I think the price wise at 280, 269, we've got to call it a draw. That's a higher ABV than that beer there. I don't think you can split this at all. So that's a point each, bringing the total to 5 4 to the goal. Which is going to surprise a lot of you. Because a lot of people think that Westmall is the best in the world. It's the best triple in the world. The first, well, they say it's the first triple in the world. It's clearly not. Because Wick had Pater was. But it's a long standing triple that has possibly been top draw, number one in the world for a long, long time. Degar's been sitting on the sidelines, in my opinion. And I think the best thing Degar, Degar has ever done is stopped selling exclusively in 1.5 litre bottles and has moved to selling it in 330ml bottles. Because this now makes Degar accessible to a lot of people. A lot of people that may not have got a chance to visit the bar and have this fabulous drink. And I think a lot of people who thought Westmel was number one, triple in the world, are now going to try Degar and going to form a different opinion. Because I think Degar, you have stolen the crown off of Westmel. Only very slightly though, really, really slightly. Um, I think anyone new to a triples is going to have Degar and he's just going to fall in love with it. Old school, triple drinkers are probably still going to favour Westmile. That's my opinion. That's my opinion on how this battle is. Um, Degas edged it simply because it's a more inviting beer. It just feels more homely, more warmly, uh, smooth, creamy, makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. You take a sip of this and it makes you feel good. However shit your day's been, however crap your life is, have a sip of a cigar. And immediately, you just get a smile on your face. It, 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 it is a pleasure to have a sip of this beer. Whereas, have a sip of West Mill. It's pleasurable, but it still has that, that little bit of the back end that says you're gonna get, a, gonna get a bollocking or telling off by your father. And that's how I'm judging these beers. Um, please make your own opinions. Look, for those of you who have not tried Degar, Go on to www.beeronweb.com because they are selling it at 280 a bottle. And I ordered on a Sunday night and this beer was round my door on a Thursday. They're really, really good. So look, go on beeronweb.com, get yourself a bottle of it and maybe put it up against a bottle of West Smell. Because they sell West Smell as well. Maybe on a bottle of each, do your own little test See what you think. See what you think the difference between these two beers. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Hit that thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.